This is a review of this uh, recent release, Searching for Secret Heroes. And uh, this, uh, this special release contains both CD and DVD. I have to do it all here with only my own two hands. Um, and so you can see that there's a DVD I'm going to stick in the machine and a CD for those who only want to listen to the audio music. And this uh, features profiles of all, all these artists. Interesting story at the uh, CD release thing and Charters was mentioning how Sam had put together an old medicine show of Furry Lewis, Gus Cannon, and Pink Anderson. They'd all played the medicine shows in their day. And there was there in New York. It's too bad there's no recording of that. She said it was really an, a, a very entertaining experience. Well, it also comes with a booklet um, with information about all the artists profiled here. And there is uh, Sam's... Oops... Sam's, uh, Sam's own film, Sam's own film of, uh, the discovery of, of Sleepy John Estes, which is, it's very dramatic. I'll show you just a bit of it as an excerpt. You see, I, I knew Sam Charters through his work at Vanguard, right? He, well... Here's his books. I knew him through his books, too. And this record. I was looking for my own copy to show you, and I couldn't find it. The Country Blues on Folkways. See, because he started with Folkways. Then he went to Vanguard, right? Buddy Guy, Man in the Blues, Junior Wells. You know, best, which was Coming At You, Baby, and It's My Life. This is Best Of. Otis Spann, Best Of the Vanguard Years, because he had a couple albums there, too, that... Sam Charters had produced, Cry in Time being one of them. There's another Buddy Guy album that, that Sam did. And here's his, Sam's wife, Widow, and Charters. Uh, Professor Emeritus, University of Connecticut, Stores, English Department. Okay, continuing with our view. So here's just a bit of the film from 1962, when Sam and Ann Charters came back to you know, kind of be the almost the first rediscovery of Sleepy John Estes. You heard the, his Sam story in my other upload there. And here's the family and their house. No electricity, no phone. Not getting that. The phone. 
When uh, Sam Charter showed this on the University of Connecticut campus there in 2000 when he donated his collection to the University of Connecticut Collections. It was the last 16-millimeter uh, projector on campus. out of sync. sync portion Sam Charters addressed actually and in it, it, speaking to the crowd that day he pointed out how he and Moses Ash at Folkways Records had once thought about going back to re-record everything to get sound and audio and video in sync now the, uh, the, the great event that weekend when Sam donated his, his collection to the Dodd Center at University of Connecticut stores was Otis Rush, Cephas and Wiggins, a gospel ensemble, and of course Sam showing his movie The Blues. I just showed you a little portion of it from the, from the DVD that comes in the CD-DVD set searching for secret heroes. And, um... As I say, this is uh, this is something that that is uh, um, for all you country blues fans. This is you know kind of a must. It's, it's the great classic. See that it's the movie, the country blues movie. The blues was supposed to accompany that Folkways album you saw there, the country blues. See to bring it to life for you. So. Anyway, as I say, I highly recommend this uh, from Document Records. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.